Is your pet dealing with chronic itching, digestive issues, or even behavioral changes that seem to come out of nowhere? These symptoms might be connected to something you haven't considered yet, histamine intolerance. Today, we're going to uncover what histamine intolerance is, why it's not the real problem, but rather a symptom of something deeper, and most importantly, how you can help your pet feel better by addressing the root causes naturally. As a holistic veterinarian, I've helped hundreds of pet parents in my blueprint program where dogs and cats were suffering from unexplained symptoms like constant scratching, diarrhea, or even irritability. Take it from Brandy and her dog Finley, who was experiencing horrible chin inflammation and scratching that left her bloody and her mom concerned to even leave her alone. Within six months, we were able to help her heal and help mom feel much more confident and empowered on how to heal her girl from the root level. Now, the common thread in many of these cases, it's histamine intolerance. But what we've discovered is that histamine intolerance is just a symptom, not the actual cause of the issue. But through testing and a holistic approach, we've been able to help these pets heal from the inside out. And if this is something you're struggling with, I'm Dr. Katie Woodley. I'd love to partner together to help you figure out the root cause of your pet's gut and skin health issues. And I don't want you to struggle alone anymore. There's a link below to speak with me directly. So go ahead and schedule a call. Now, let's first talk about what is histamine. Histamine is a natural compound that plays an important role in your pet's body. It's involved in immune responses, helps regulate digestion, and it acts as a neurotransmitter. It influences the brain and even sleep functions. And when your pet's body encounters allergens or irritants, histamine is released as part of the immune response to deal with these intruders. However, the key here is balance. In small amounts, histamine is helpful. But when your pet's body can't break down histamine fast enough or it's exposed to too much of it, histamine can accumulate. This is when you start seeing symptoms like itching, digestive issues, and even anxiety or behavioral changes in your pet. So what exactly is histamine intolerance? It's important to understand histamine intolerance is not a disease in itself, but rather a sign that something is off balance in your pet's body. Normally, your pet's body uses an enzyme called diamine oxidase, or DAO, to break down excess histamine. But when your pet's body isn't producing enough of this enzyme, or there's too much histamine to handle, or we have a lot of gut inflammation where a lot of this is being processed, symptoms begin to appear. Histamine intolerance can look like allergies, but it often persists even after eliminating common allergens or switching diets. This is because histamine intolerance is not just about the amount of histamine in the food your pet eats, it's about how well their body is able to process and clear histamine. So why is histamine intolerance a symptom and not the cause? Now here's the real kicker. Histamine intolerance is just the symptom. The actual root causes often go much deeper, and in most cases, it's not just about eliminating high histamine foods. In fact, avoiding foods like aged meats or fermented vegetables might not fully resolve the issue because histamine intolerance typically arises from underlying health problems. Some of the root causes that we see that cause this include things like leaky gut syndrome. The gut is where histamine is produced, broken down, and if your pet's gut is inflamed or compromised, this is commonly known as leaky gut, they won't be able to manage histamine properly. A leaky gut allows harmful substances to pass into the bloodstream, which then triggers chronic inflammation, leading to more histamine release and poor breakdown. Two, microbiome imbalances. The bacteria in your pet's gut also plays a major role in how histamine is processed. If the microbiome is out of balance due to things like antibiotics, poor diet, or environmental toxins, it can actually increase histamine production and decrease your pet's ability to handle it. Gut dysbiosis often results in a domino effect where digestion is impaired and histamine levels start to rise unchecked. Now, the third root issue, liver dysfunction. Your pet's liver is essential for detoxification, including breaking down excess histamine. 
When the liver is overwhelmed by toxins, whether from poor diet, medications, environmental pollutants, it can't properly clear histamine from the system. This leads to histamine overload. Also, environmental factors and toxins. We often overlook environmental triggers, but things like mold, pollen, dust mites, and even certain chemicals and cleaning products can increase histamine levels. If your pet's environment is filled with histamine releasing triggers, their body can eat easily become overwhelmed, even if they're, they aren't eating high histamine foods. And then also stress and hormonal imbalances. Stress has a profound impact on how well your pet's body can manage histamine. Cortisol, the stress hormone, can influence histamine levels. And when stress becomes chronic, it can disrupt the entire immune system. Hormonal imbalances can also affect histamine metabolism, leading to an increase in histamine-related symptoms. So when we see histamine intolerance in pets, we have to dig deeper to find these underlying causes. It's not just about cutting out certain foods. It's about healing the gut, supporting the liver, and managing environmental and emotional stressors. Now, the gut histamine connection. We need to talk about why this happens and how it's all connected. And your pet's gut is at the center of their ability to manage histamine. When the gut is damaged, whether due to chronic inflammation, food sensitivities, or an imbalanced microbiome, your pet's body can struggle to process histamine, which leads to those frustrating symptoms like itching, digestive upset, and even behavioral changes you might be seeing in your pets right now. So healing the gut is the first step to restoring balance, and it's not just about food. Yes, it's important, but there are powerful tools we can use to help. That's why I always recommend starting with a focus on gut health through targeted nutrition, supplements, and a lot of times the right types of tests. If we can improve the gut lining, balance the microbiome, and reduce inflammation, your pet's ability to handle histamine will improve naturally. So this is where nutrition, probiotics, digestive enzymes, peptide therapy, and anti-inflammatory herbs and the right nutraceuticals and detox support can make a huge difference. So let's talk about some of the advanced therapies and supplements that can help your pet heal from the inside out. Now, peptide therapy, one of the most promising approaches to gut healing is peptide therapy, specifically with peptides like BPC-157 and KPV. BPC-157 is a peptide that has shown incredible results in repairing gut tissue, reducing inflammation, and promoting overall healing. It works by supporting the lining of the gut, helping to close those leaky junctions, and reducing the chronic inflammation that can trigger excess histamine production. BPC-157 is particularly effective for pets with long-standing gut issues like IBD, chronic diarrhea, or histamine intolerance because it promotes tissue regeneration and reduces oxidative stress in the gut. And I'm seeing some really awesome results in the pets that are in my Blueprint program right now in this area with peptides. Now, KPV is another powerful anti-inflammatory peptide. This helps reduce inflammation specifically in the gut, but also in the skin. KPV is particularly helpful for pets suffering from inflammatory bowel diseases or those who are experiencing gut inflammation and even skin inflammation due to histamine intolerance. By calming the immune response and lowering gut inflammation, healing leaky gut, KPV helps restore balance, and it improves your pet's ability to manage histamine levels naturally, especially with things like mold toxicity. Now, the easiest way to get started with peptides is to watch my previous video here and check out the blog for how to properly dose and what brands you have to use for your pets safely. There's also a link in the description below for the integrative peptides option for pets called Integrative Pet Tides that I highly recommend. It contains both KPV and BPC along with another immune calming peptide that work beautifully together to help rebalance your pet's health and it can be used alongside medications and other supplements safely.
Now, if you're ready to take the next step and equip yourself with the tools and knowledge to truly help your pet with their gut and skin health issues, schedule a call to explore whether our Lifetime Blueprint program is the perfect fit. Together, we'll work to optimize and finally heal your pet's gut and skin health issues. And there's a link in the description below to get started. Now let's talk about some of the anti-inflammatory herbs for gut healing, because in addition to peptide therapy, these herbs can be a game changer for reducing histamine related symptoms and promoting gut health. Now, some of my favorite herbs for histamine intolerance include things like slippery elm, because this herb works by coating and soothing the gut lining, reducing inflammation, and helping to restore the integrity of the gut barrier. It's incredibly effective for pets with irritated or inflamed guts, and it helps reduce histamine reactions. Another great herb for gut healing is marshmallow root. It works very similar to slippery elm where it soothes that digestive tract, but it also promotes mucus production, which protects the gut lining and reduces inflammation, allowing the gut to heal naturally. Now, turmeric is one of the most powerful natural anti-inflammatories. Its active compound curcumin helps lower inflammation throughout the body, including the gut, which can be really beneficial for pets suffering from chronic histamine intolerance. It also has nice antioxidant properties, which help protect the cells in your pet's gut from further damage. Now, along with peptides and herbs, certain nutraceuticals can help support gut health and reduce histamine-related symptoms. These are a few key ones that I recommend for pets. Quercetin, which is known as a natural histamine, Quercetin helps stabilize mast cells. These are the things responsible for releasing histamine during allergic and inflammatory responses. So this supplement can help alleviate symptoms like itching and digestive upset. Now, probiotics. Not all probiotics are created equal. And for pets with histamine intolerance, it's important to choose strains that don't increase histamine. So I recommend using strains like Lactobacillus rhamnosus, and bifidobacterium longum, which help reduce gut inflammation, calm down anxiety, and promote a healthy balance of gut bacteria without contributing to histamine levels. And then digestive enzymes. Many pets with histamine intolerance have trouble breaking down their food properly, leading to gut imbalances and more histamine release and contribute to leaky gut. Digestive enzymes, particularly those containing diamine oxidase, DAO, remember we talked about it towards the beginning, that's why it's so important to understand how this happens and how histamine is broken down. These types of digestive enzymes can help your pet break down histamine and reduce those frustrating symptoms. And then of course, omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s are fantastic for reducing inflammation throughout the body and including the gut and supporting gut health. They lower systemic inflammation, they support the healing process, and they make them a great addition for pets dealing with histamine intolerance. And then L-glutamine. This amino acid is critical for repairing the gut lining and reducing gut permeability. Pets with leaky gut often benefit from L-glutamine supplementation because it helps restore the integrity of the intestinal barrier, making it harder for histamine and other irritants to pass through into the bloodstream and stimulate the immune system. So incorporating these advanced therapies, herbs, nutraceuticals, peptides are really key to helping your pet not only manage histamine intolerance, but also address the root causes of their gut issues. These treatments work together to reduce inflammation, heal the gut lining, and support your pet's overall health so that they can feel better long-term. Now, make sure to grab our free simple guide to improve gut health in the description below to learn more about these therapies to help heal your pet. Now, we need to talk about why testing is key for your pet. Here's the thing. If you're just guessing at what's causing your pet symptoms, you could be missing the mark. Histamine intolerance often overlaps with other issues like food sensitivities, parasitic infections, or gut dysbiosis, which is why testing is so critical. Without proper testing, you could be addressing symptoms, but missing the underlying problem. For example, tests like stool analysis or gut microbiome panels can tell us if your pet's gut is inflamed, if there's an overgrowth of harmful bacteria, or if their liver function is impaired with an overload of heavy metals or copper imbalances. 
This gives us a roadmap for healing so we can address the real root cause behind your pet's histamine intolerance. I've previously talked about my favorite gut health tests in this previous video, so make sure you check it out. Now, if this sounds like what your pet might be going through and you're ready for more guidance on how to heal your pet's gut and skin health issues at the root cause with a true holistic approach, make sure to book a call so we can see if our blueprint program is what you've been looking for to unlock the deeper, longer lasting healing for your pet. There's a link in the description to schedule that call. Histamine intolerance can be a frustrating mystery for so many pet parents, but once you understand that it's a symptom of a deeper issue, you can take the steps to truly help your pet heal. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more holistic pet care tips to help you feel confident and empowered that you are healing the root cause to your pet's gut and health skin issues. And make sure to check out the links below for more resources on how to improve your pet's gut health. I'll see you soon.